everyone, my name is Alicia, and today in front of me I have a whole bunch of t-shirts. I've got yellow t-shirts, gray t-shirts, red t-shirts, white t-shirts, pink t-shirts, all the t-shirts of the world because relatives and friends and everybody keeps giving me t-shirts and everybody has a lot of t-shirts and we all know that we all have t-shirts and we don't know what to do with them because we can't wear all of them, right? And I don't need them, you don't need them, and so how are we going to get rid of them? We're going to cut them into little tiny pieces and make a beautiful robe. For this project, we are going to need a large piece of material or an old bed sheet. Cut a circle 25 inches in radius. We had extra materials left, so we cut two more circles 10 inches in radius. These are going to be seat covers. First, simply fold over the edge of the circle and sew it down all the way around. Now we have the bases for our carpets ready. Now we're going to begin to cut up the t-shirts. It's a good idea to invite the people in your house, your neighbors, your friends, and anybody else that you have on hand to help you. I'm willing to bet that they'll be happy to help you and it'll make the preparation much easier because you're going to need a lot of these little strips. And so, after a long time, we end up with a giant pile of these colorful strips. You start off by laying down the strips on the very edge of the circle. We are using shades of blue, gray, and green, and we have four of these shades so far so that it will make a really pretty picture. Once you finish going all the way around the perimeter of the circle, just go to the left a little bit, like so, and start another line. It'll just go all the way around so you won't have to do this again. Make sure to hold the other parts down with your hand. Once we ran out of blues, we're going to make it more vibrant by adding pinks, whites, and reds. Look how pretty it already looks. It's not even done, but it still looks so fluffy and beautiful. It's getting big and heavy. I'm making these for my sister, who this year has enrolled and is already at MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. She's living in a dorm right now, and she really needs a rug. That's why I'm making her this present. Here's how far we've gotten. Almost there. Now we're going to transition over to alternating red and white. It'll give it some unique vibrance. Right here you'll see that instead of just placing the strips in a sort of queue to go under there, if you kind of shove it underneath the presser foot, then it makes a really cute bow shape that gives it a lot of volume. Now we're doing the before last step of this project, which is making a circle completely out of red. From experience, I have learned that this is the optimal size to make the perfect little bow on this carpet. And it's about three and a half inches long and one and a half inches wide. And it's pretty much the width of your palm. Now we're going to make a ring of just red. It's just gonna be like in your face wow beautifulness. The chair cover for my sister, which is this green one, is gonna be super vibrant so that she will never be bored when I'm looking at this. This chair cover, my personal favorite one, is for Grace's roommate. She's Canadian and her name is Michelle, and she told us her favorite color was gray. And I think that the gray allowed us to make a really, really pretty color palette combination thing, and I just love this one so much. We're even going to put an exciting final touch on it that makes it even more of my favorite. It's so fast that the camera can't even keep up with me. Look at all of this beautiful amazingness that we've accomplished. And, oh great, hold on. There we go. Now 
we are adding the complete final touch. This, oh, I dropped it. Um, this super, super cute bow.